Is it a conifer or a deciduous? Deciduous. Yeah, absolutely deciduous. Is it opposite or alternate? So the only ones we've seen so far are opposites. It's alternate this one. Well, if you look, yeah, that's a hard one. I apologize. It is opposite. Okay. Oh, it's opposite. Yep. So we've got a, either an ash or a maple. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. And if you look at the bottom, yeah. So this one's at uh, red maple. So there's two. There's soft maple or silver maple, and red maple. They do hybridize back and forth, but typically red maple is in, uh, you know, an upland woodlot area. And this, in the fall, the leaves, this one has a brilliant yes. red leaves. Yep, yeah. neon red. They look almost exactly the same, but the leaf is slightly different on a red than it is on a silver. So on a silver maple, they're very deeply lobed. But they'll grow upland or swamp. Yeah, so red is upland, silver is lowland. Could you tell, sorry, no, no. black maple from sugar without leaves? Black maple from sugar, no, because they're like silver and, and red. Okay. So the bark looks exactly the same. Black maple has hair on the back of the leaf. Peach fudge. Yeah, that's right. And it also, uh, with sugar, it, it's, the lobing is just a little different. So at the bottom of a sugar maple leaf, you'll see these little hooky sort of, oh, yeah structures and then it comes up for the rest of the leaf and on black maple it's just completely round on the bottom and but the fuzz too so so black maple is typically more southern consistently no hooks yeah consistently that's correct yeah there's so not many of those in the county no there's not many around this area but um cliff mclean's bush for those that have been in there he has black maple like very large black maple so it's particularly weird that well that they're that large, but also that they're black maple this far north. Uh, we got two different ones. The one with the red mark on it. Any guesses on that one? So it's your favorite maple sugar. syrup? Yeah, it's a sugar maple, that's right. Now, sure. this one's fairly healthy. Like the, the bark is fairly tight. On ones that are older, they're not growing as fast. The bark gets these sort of sideways uh, peels to it. You can see kind of peel in there. Yeah, and really your bar your bark is an indicator of vigor. So an indicator of how much sun it's getting and how healthy it is, like how good the soil is. So this one, as you can see, it's kind of getting shaded. It's kind of getting older. The bark's starting to show that character to it. Um, so the older ones are more wrinkled, like yeah, us? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's funny, but it is, yeah. Coarser. 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 Yeah, you know what happens to everyone, right? So, like you. Um, for maple, they're also opposite, right? So we looked at the ash is opposite yeah. and maples are opposite. Um, it's hard to really tell closely, but if you look at this little guy right here, where it starts to branch, oh, yeah. has full branches, you'll see they're dead opposite of each other.